Welcome back to Better Living. I am joined now by Molly from the Better Business Bureau. We are talking about Giving Tuesday, which is appropriate because today is Tuesday and it is Giving Tuesday. So this time of year, especially a lot of charities, not myself, but <laughs> other charities are asking for our money. How Absolutely. can we know that it is a worthwhile charity, that it is not a scam? Well, thanks. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on today. And today is Giving Tuesday, and it is sort of the kickoff of the giving season. Um, it was started three years ago by the 92nd Street Y in New York City, and it's kind of grown um, as this national movement, and you'll see it a lot on social media today, hashtag Giving Tuesday. Um, and the Better Business Bureau has partnered, um, our Wise Giving Alliance, was a, which is a sector of the Better Business Bureau, has partnered with Giving Tuesday, and many people look to the Better Business Bureau as um, an organization that looks at looks for trustworthy businesses. Yes. And not many people know that we evaluate charities, and we have a rigorous evaluation process um, for charities. Probably the most rigorous um, of any charity evaluation in the world, really, um, that evaluates charities. So we look look to us for trustworthy charities. So if I'm going to come to you to find out if something is trustworthy, give me some of the ways that you are evaluating those charities. What are what are the s things that you're evaluating them on? We have 20 standards and again no rock is left unturned when we evaluate a charity. 20 standards. Um, that doesn't mean we ask 20, 20 questions yes. necessarily. Um, it's really a very rigorous process and time time some, um, time um, it takes a lot of time for a charity and lots of local charities have gone through this process so we have 20 standards and we look for board processes I mean we ask if you have family members on your board do have you do you have paid board members we look at financial documents of course um, audits IRS 990s we ask that 65 percent of all money goes to charities programs um, no more than 35% goes to financial overhead, which means, you know, your um, fundraising and your... Yes. That's, that's usually what and a lot that's, of donors are That's looking just for. what I was wondering yeah. about because I think that is a big concern for people. Yes. How much of the money that I give is going towards the actual right. program and how much is going to pay someone or, right. you know run the overhead part. Right. And 65% is actually really generous that, mm -hmm. we, that we ask 65% goes to your programs. But honestly, here in Northwest Ohio, almost all of the charities that we have evaluated here locally more than meet that standard. That's excellent. Yeah. Where can I find some of the reports on the charities that you do evaluate? Well, of course, you can find them online. But we're going through a transition period with our local reporting program. So calling us is best, 419-531. What is our number? <laughs> uh, I'm looking for it. 419 I believe. <laughs> I don't know if we have it on the screen okay, at the end. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not the number I have down here, and I don't. I may have, like, Sorry. somebody's cell number written down here, and I'm guessing... 419 is also a great number to reach me at, and you can talk to me about our charities, our local charities. Well, and I know that the end of the year is a lot of times when people want to give because it's the best time to give Absolutely. in that... It, it's most effective tax-wise for people. What are some other ways we can give wisely? Um, well, we always tell people to give you with your heart, but lead with your head. So, again, look to us to be your leaders. Um, look at your to look at look look at our evaluations. Sure. Um, don't lead with your emotions. I mean, we all see those tragic commercials yeah. with the Sarah McLaughlin music that you know kind of ruins our day. <laughs> um, <laughs> But also um, the appeals that come in the mail with the free gift. Don't feel obligated to give if you get, um, you know, the mailing address labels, the blankets, whatever, you know, you're getting in the mail. Don't feel obligated that you have to give just because you get something in the mail. And if you feel the need to return it, do so. Um, don't feel the need to give back if you don't feel that charity is, you know worthy of your dollar. If, if I, let's say I get something in the mail, or maybe I see that, uh, I believe it's the SPCA commercial that Sarah McLaughlin's oh, yeah. uh, tune is on. If I see something like that that touches my heart, but I think, you know, I really, I, I care about animals, mm -hmm. or I care about something that I get a mailer on, but I want to make sure that my money stays locally. Can I call you and you can direct me 
to something about animals that is locally. Absolutely, and there's plenty of organizations locally that do help animals and plenty of organizations or organizations locally that will help your cause of choice. I think that's so important for people. They do want their money to stay local, but there, are, there are things, perhaps it's uh, children's causes mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever it is that really you do have an emotional tie to because you, you do want to give something that tugs on your heart, but you do want to give wisely. Absolutely. That is for certain. Yes. Yes. Let's tell people again how they can get a hold of those evaluations. And, and give me an approximate, I mean, how many charities again do you guys evaluate in a year? About? Um, locally, I would say we have about 150 evaluations that we do. Um, of those 150 evaluations, quite a few of them are accredited, which means they meet all 20 standards. Excellent. Um, we have, like I said, wonderful um, local organizations that are accredited, and I would go into you know rattling them off, but I don't want angry phone numbers. No, you don't want to leave anybody later out. If I leave somebody out. Um, and again, giving locally is, is a great way to give back Absolutely. to the community. Well, it is Giving Tuesday, so today is a great day to give. Hashtag Giving Tuesday. Go to Twitter, you search that, and then just give Molly a call, and she will help you out, help you find some place locally that you can give. It's a great way to feel great this holiday season and give back to your community. We'll be right back.